Hello guys, today I want to show you how I made this snow effect in the shot uh, you just saw right now. So, the thing I do is like I use geometry nodes and make particles. So I was distributing points and faces using a plane. Um, and first of all, I tried to make um, some sort of dust. So, you know, floating dust in the air. So what you do is like distribute some points and set position and use a noise to do that. So if you take a noise, um, and you just subtract 0, 5 to neutralize the, the position and use a scale in a vector mass it's like multiply but with one value you can control the intensity so you can see I'm making like very big movements small movements and medium movements uh, and use a scene time uh, all the time with the noise uh, so I put the noise to 40 four dimensions um, and then in the W I put a scene time node uh, and in between I put a divide, so a divide is like controlling the, the slowness, so the more, the, the bigger the value, the, the slower it will be. So like, um, I can now adjust the, the intensity and the, and the speed of um, each uh, version, so big movements can be pretty slow and pretty big, uh, and obviously in small movements can be pretty, pretty fast but not, not too too intense. So right now we can see I'm just setting up some new shaders, so pretty easy, just put some translucency. Um, I have some lights, uh, some specific particles that are being like emissive, just, I was just having some fun. And then you can see I'm talking about light scattering because particles is basically scattering lights uh, by default. Um, so yeah, uh, now I'm making the snow, and to make the snow, it's basically you just take this whole this whole setup and you add another set position node, and you can control the um, the z position. So by controlling the z position, you can just go uh, down. It's it's that easy. So if you just take um a scene, uh, scene time, yeah, uh, and multiply, you can have, um, you, know, you can control the intensity of uh, this falling. And if you take a random value and you actually put it, um, each value, each uh, particle will get a different value. So you can have some small snowfall, snow, uh, how do you say, snowflakes? Yeah, small snowflakes and uh, pretty fast snowflakes. And now you basically have the, the snowflakes. Render with some motion blur and it's done. By the way, if you like my work and want to support me, I have a Patreon where I post exclusive tutorials and assets. For the snowflakes, I put a full process video and the blend file on there. So if you want to check it out, have a good one.